So I've gone on record on multiple different occasions, and this is not some controversial stance to take, but I've gone on record as saying that I believe that ARM computing is going to be the model for computing in the future, and that that future might not be so far out. When Apple, just a couple of short years ago, now maybe less than a couple of years now, I don't actually know the timeline at this point, it all just bleeds together. When they rolled out their M1 processor, they ditched Intel, they ditched x86, and they said, we are all in on ARM. That was quite the incredible development, and it also, in my mind, has really rapidly accelerated that move to ARM, and it's really piqued interest with ARM computing. Now, of course, Microsoft has some ARM computing stuff going on, right? They've got the Surface Pro X. They've updated the Surface Pro X, but that's really about it. We've got Windows running on ARM. You know, we've got some things like this going on, but you can look at what Apple's done and you can say, wow, they've really pushed things along much, much further, much, much faster. Well, it looks like Microsoft is beginning to take this whole ARM thing even more seriously because something that they just announced at Microsoft Build 2022, something called Project Volterra, aims to target ARM development in particular with cloud native apps. So what is Project Volterra? Let's take a look at this handy dandy Twitter thread. Volterra is a Microsoft branded mini desktop computer which is powered by a unknown Snapdragon SoC, perhaps an 8CX, perhaps some version of that like the modified SQ chips that are in the Surface Pro X. We don't know exactly what the processor is, but we do know that that is what Project Volterra looks like. It is a very, very small mini PC, kind of reminiscent, as I say here in a moment, of the uh, Apple M1 Mac Mini. Now, Microsoft has made some claims about this mysterious Qualcomm SoC. They're saying that it has a built-in NPU, which is a neural processing unit, which offers best-in-class AI computing. Now this is a little bit odd because you don't typically see an NPU in a desktop, a laptop setup like this. Typically NPUs are used on phones, right? There's a lot of things going on on your phone that are AI based. A lot of things with like image processing and things like this may take advantage of these neural processing units. Packing that into Project Volterra seems to indicate that Microsoft truly does believe NPUs, one, are going to become uh, proliferated. You're going to start seeing them in pretty much every computing device that you use as AI gets more and more popular, as it gets more and more baked into applications that you're using on a day-to-day -day basis. This actually does make a ton of sense. So if you're developing apps for the future, you want your development hardware to have the hardware that you think things are going to have in the near future. Neural processing units, definitely going to be something like that. Also, these MPUs are gonna be big for cloud native apps, and that's a big piece of what they want developed with Project Volterra. If you can't tell by the way I'm talking already, Volterra not really meant to be purchased by an individual to just like run Windows on to use as a computer. It's meant to be used by developers. Okay, this was made by developers for developers to use. Interestingly enough, the trailer showed off what appeared to be a actual cooling fan. So a lot of the things with ARM is that it doesn't generate a ton of heat, so you don't typically need to use a fan. You can use some passive cooling methods. Your phone in your pocket is running ARM. You don't have a fan in there, right? Because it doesn't generate a lot of heat. But if you want to push that performance really, really hard, you will start generating heat. So they've added a fan here. So this thing might have performance that is better than what something like a Surface Pro X is able to come up with. For one, it's very, very thin. So already the thermals are going to be easier because it just has more girth to dissipate heat. But then you add in a fan, you can push those thermals much, much further. 
We also appear to have a pretty standard NVMe SSD, which means that storage speeds are going to be quite fast, but also that expandability should be possible. You should be able to take this thing apart and swap this hard drive out to add more storage. Microsoft continues to push towards sustainability by using their recycled ocean plastic. We've seen this on a mouse and a keyboard already, maybe even more things than that, but they're continuing to push this recycled ocean plastic thing, which is quite cool. Take this garbage out of the ocean, turn it into stuff that we're going to be able to use again. I, I do like seeing this kind of stuff. Port selection looks excellent here, right? You've got power, ethernet. This looks like a mini display port, three USB-A ports, two USB-C ports on the side. That's actually pretty solid for something so small. Pretty good IO, but again, for development, you're going to need this kind of stuff. You're going to need to have a, a plethora of ports. And like I said, that is what this is for. It's for development. ARM devices up until now have only been able to use the Visual Studio running x64 emulation. Now Microsoft is going to release a fully ARM native tool chain. So you're going to be able to do all the development stuff you're used to doing on your x86 processor using this emulation. Now you're going to be able to do this on ARM. And as you can see here, they say built for Windows developers, stackable designs. You can stack these things up like you could like a server rack almost. And then, like I said, ARM native Visual Studio developer toolchain is coming. Only thing we don't really know other than the processor is what the price and the release date is going to be. But again, I don't think this is meant for, you know, the, the average person to be purchasing. This is more of a harbinger of what Microsoft thinks is coming just around the corner. ARM development ramping up, cloud native app development ramping up as well. Guys, big news on the ARM development front for Windows, something I'm quite excited about. I do think ARM is the future. Cloud-based computing is the future. Microsoft believes wholeheartedly that in the not-so-distant future, this always-connected world, the applications you're using are going to be seamlessly moving between on-device processing, CPU, GPU, and NPU, and then also with cloud-based computing, like you've seen in Microsoft's Flight Simulator, where a lot of the processing might be being done off hardware in the cloud and streamed to your device. Microsoft believes that synergistic future seamlessly switching between on device and in the cloud, that that is coming very, very soon. And this piece of hardware will help development of such apps happen much more rapidly. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Check out some merchandise in the bar down below. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.